Well, g'day guys. Back here at the development block and yeah, doing something a little bit different. I've finished the spraying and all that sort of stuff that needed to happen, so I am on the excavator. If you want to support the channel guys, just uh, remember to hit the like, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, yeah, we'll get into it. little trees and sticks and stumps and fallen over stuff and we made a pile out of it um, it's got quite a few rocks in it as well and yeah we're obviously just wanting to get it out of the paddock um, and yeah then in a couple other spots we've got some contour banks um, that we're going to need to redo and there's some regrowth trees that are, are near them so we've got to just um, yeah it's easy to pluck them out with this so yeah, that's the general gist of what is happening at the moment anyway Just waiting for the dump truck to come back wherever oh yeah there it is and so this is what the sort of stuff we've been um, trying to tidy up so it's just a pile of sticks here that's been here for quite a while and um, yeah it's just working really well if you tried to push this say with a bulldozer or something um, you just end up with scattered sticks everywhere um, and yeah we could burn it but obviously with all the grass around it too um, yeah that's probably not a good idea so it's just easy to scoop her up into the dump truck and yeah, cart it away. So no, it's um it's been going quite well. We won't um won't talk about that. I'm, I'm, the air conditioner is struggling to keep up when there's a big gap there. Won't say who is responsible for this, but it was one of the brothers, um, and his name starts with P and ends in Gill. So yeah, we'll have to have to rip into him about that. It's good to get this all cleared up. Well guys, we're back at the excavator here and I've got a bit of perspex here that we got cut up. Um, we're just gonna fit up into the front there. And um, yeah, then we got keep going on with this. I think we'll there's a couple more trees um, that yeah, again are right next to roads or on contour banks that we can clean up. I think today might be the last day for a little bit um, of me being on here, but uh, yeah, who knows? We'll see what happens. I'm just about to do some pruning. So this tree here um, isn't near any contour banks or anything. So yeah, we have to leave this one. But you might be able to see there's that side offshoot there 
goes up like that and a couple of the smaller branches so what I'll do is I just knock them off um, and what that means is that when we're driving around it with uh, machinery we don't get things caught up on it and yeah break stuff so it also means we can get closer to the tree um, and yeah without without catching it and these often fall off too anyway and you, you end up with sticks and whatever all scattered through the paddock once they get caught on machinery so we'll uh, yeah do that slight issue um, I don't think we'll be using this bucket for a little while that is impressive so of course that snapped so then this support here is bent out as well so that's um yeah we're gonna have to finish this off with the GP bucket I think what we're going to have to do is wait for the loader to come down here and swap over the buckets, I think, because the buckets are pretty heavy. So this is the downside of having a 46-ton excavator. Yeah, just getting a Jeep, the GP bucket is not as simple as just throwing it on the trailer or, or um, yeah, grabbing it and throwing it on the back of the ute. It's have to get the 13-ton loader and even then it doesn't really sit right in there and it's a bit precarious but uh, we're getting it done. There we go. It's a uh, big old bucket when you compare it to the uh, loader there. So I'm quite a little bit more fiddly with this bucket. It's a bit narrower um, and quite a lot deeper but also the teeth, I'll just lift it up a bit. Um, yeah, you, the teeth along there, they're a lot further spaced apart, so it doesn't drag the sticks in as well as the other bucket. But um, anyway, it's uh, better than nothing. Well guys, a bit of a change of plans today. I was gonna be on the weed it for the morning, but uh, yeah, we've got an issue here with one of the silos that we put chickpeas in. So that's not meant to be like that. So we have had some issues with this before and mucked around with it. Um, but yeah, I think she's dead, this silo. Anyway, we'll get into it. Well, while it's unloading and Josiah's working hard cleaning that up, we have had quite a few issues with this silo and I won't show the name of it. I think it's sufficiently obscured by the tree. Um, now, I'm sure there's been people that had a good experience with them. Um, the concept's great. Um, being plastic silos, when you're storing fertiliser in them, they don't rust or cause any corrosion. So it's, yeah, it's a good concept. But we asked for a silo that could hold, uh, I think 46 ton or so. It was enough to hold a, a full B double worth of, of um, starter fertilizer. And this is what they said and delivered and installed. And it, uh, yeah, we had it split. Um, the little straps that come down that hold the cone up. Um, yeah, they, I think they've updated them now, so it shouldn't do it, you'd think, but they slipped so all the weight was hanging off the in the cone and yeah just pulled and split in a couple of spots so 
We rang them up and tried to get it sorted, but they said the silo was only rated to hold, I think 20, 25 tonne or something. So they weren't gonna help us at all. And we were trying to say that, well, we asked for a silo that could hold this much of fertilizer and that's what was supplied. But um, anyway, so that was a dead end there. A bit disappointed. We're definitely not gonna be buying another one, but um, yeah, we're, just had it we've had it fixed plastic welded properly inside we've tried all we can and it just keeps splitting so we didn't even have fertilizer in it this time we had chickpeas so it's uh yes not gonna work for us i don't think so disappointing but as i always say i guess that's life and we're unloading it into the mother bin so there's already a little bit you can just see there actually a little bit we um put in here just when we're harvesting, we're running out of storage. So yeah, we just put it back in this mother bin. Um, it's in the big shed here and it's got the tarps on it. So it's uh, yeah, pretty safe in there. But yeah, now that that silo is dead, um, we're gonna empty the rest of it out and put it into here as well. Well, that's uh, just about all we can do for the minute. I've got to get spraying. Um, but yeah, the main thing is just to get as much as we can away from the all the bits of metal and the supports here. Um, so if we do get rain and it does go all rotten, it's it's not quite as bad, but yeah, it's it's pretty rank. Um, this, because it actually started leaking while it was raining. So there's, there was a couple hundred kilos of fairly well just rotten grain there already. And then it started leaking while it was raining. So yeah, can't do much about it. So we've probably lost, I don't know, might be five ton there. So that's uh, around about $2,000 worth. So yeah, we're, I don't know what we're gonna do here. Um, we've got a cement patty at least. We'll have to look at a different kind of bin, I'd say. So you can see here, what actually happened was, and like I said, I think the newer models have fixed this, but all they had was a bolt here that was tightened up and then they put the, like you've got your cone here. So a lot of your weight is supported on here, obviously, so it doesn't pull in the, the cone this way. So you, yeah, don't want them to slip. And then once we put weight in it, they obviously slipped. And then, yeah, tore a couple of ones in here. And you can see we've got rags stuffed up in there just once it started leaking again recently. But yeah, so we pulled that off, welded them up. Just, it's been a, been a bit of a mess. And it was, the damage was already done. So all of this was really stretched and weak all up in here. So yeah, the damage was done and, and um, we've been battling with it ever since. Okay.